uh, I was walking along with a mine sweeping team. I was a weapon squad leader, so I had a guy in front of me with a mine sweeper going up and down, up and down. He searched down, he searched back, not once but twice, didn't pick nothing up. I took my backpack off, and as the backpack hit the ground, um, an IED went off. And as the IED went off, this is a, as bad as it gets, by the way, for gruesomeness, but as the IED went off, my right arm and right leg were ripped off immediately. My left leg was tattered up, um, ripped out the, you know, they had muscle tendon and skin hanging it on, so they duct taped it to my thigh. And my left hand had uh, my index finger, or my uh, ring finger, my pinky finger still there, my wrist blown out. So I was laying on the ground, face smacked uh, real hard, swelled up. And I hit my mic and I said, LT, I need your medic over here with my medic. Uh, I just hit an IED. We're going to need some, some help with uh, the recovery. My medic ran up at me. I told him, save my guys. I had two guys got hurt with me. One of them actually is from Santa, uh, <laughs> Santa Barbara. And uh, his name is Kid after me, actually. And the middle name is, is Travis. But um, I said, get away from me, save my guys. And he said, no, let me do my job. And we had a couple. Um, spattering back and forth, and he's like, just let me do my job. And I said, okay, fine. Once my guy said they were fine. They bandaged me up, got me on the helicopter, on the helicopter to the gurney ride, gurney ride to the um, operating table. On the operating table, um, they knocked me out, and they were like, you, I don't know how you're still awake. And I'm like, quit touching me. I'm fine. Leave me alone. I got to get up. And they just said, like, I don't know how you're still awake, Sergeant Mills, but you need to go to sleep. So they knocked me out. That was April 10th. On April 12th, they flew me to Bagram. They had to cut my left hand off because it necrotized. It became a quadruple amputee. On April 14th, my birthday, I woke up for the first time on my 25th birthday. My brother-in-law had to tell me the outcome of my uh, injuries. First thing I said, my soldiers, how are my soldiers? And then I said, I'm a paralyzed. And he said, no. And I said, no, Josh, I can take it. Like, you can tell me. Like, I can't feel my fingers and toes. He said, nope. You're not paralyzed, but you don't have them anymore. And uh, that's when I found out what happened. So that's a picture of me. I lost 140 pounds, um, or 110 pounds, sorry, I went 140 pounds total. And it was pretty rough, so I had to figure out what I was going to do. I was pretty down on myself, pretty angry at the situation. I told my wife to leave me when I got to the States. I said, you know, you don't got to put up with this. Like, take Chloe, our little six-month-old. I'll financially fund you, take the house, the cars, everything. It's all yours, because I love her so much I want to put her through it. And apparently that was offensive to tell her that, because she was going to stay behind me. And, uh, you know, we were on our uh, fourth year of marriage, and she's like, that's not how this works at all, Travis. I'm going to be with you to the end, so uh, I'm, you know, I'm here for you. And I can't thank her enough. So she was there. My little girls, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And uh, my little girl's laying on my chest, staring at me, squeezing my nose, and I'm thinking she's going to think I'm a monster, and she's six months old, and I can't fend her off. I got lines coming out of me. I'm like, ah, oh, quit it, stop. She's like, yeah. <laughs> You know, and um, it was a real turning point for me. So I travel around the nation now. I was at Microsoft yesterday, and then I was at uh, a couple uh, the Reagan Library, and I get to be at the Nixon Library, and I'm so thankful to be here.